Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about the eight different benefits of probiotics, okay? Number one, probiotics help you support your immune system. They provide a major defense against pathogens. Uh, people that take antibiotics kill off their normal friendly bacteria, which is called flora. And what happens, it leaves you open to getting secondary infections and creating all sorts of abnormal overgrowths of yeast and fungus that shouldn't be there. So we need these friendly microbes to help us defend. And I'm not just talking about friendly bacteria, I'm talking about friendly funguses, friendly yeast, and even friendly mold. When you wipe out any of these different friendly microbes, you can then get an overgrowth of that microbe, which can actually grow in the wrong place, like on your toenails, as a fungus, mold, even in your hair, on your mouth. And so that's really what happens. But these microbes live on fiber. So the fiber that you consume is digested by these microbes because you don't have the enzymes to break down the fiber. Number three, they make beneficial acids. Now you probably think in your mind, wow, acids are really bad, but they're beneficial acids that your body needs. One being lactic acid. And so if you were to consume sauerkraut or kombucha tea, for example, or even yogurt for that matter, or kefir, it has something called lactic acid. The problem is so many people are sensitive to the dairy and sometimes this, these dairy products come with a package because they have hormones. So there are non-dairy sources of lactic acid. But the point is that lactic acid is really important in defense mechanisms to allow the pathogens not to grow. Your body can withstand the lactic acid, but the pathogens don't like it and they basically are inhibited with lactic acid. Lactic acid is also necessary to help with the pH and the absorption of certain minerals in, in the digestive tract. Then we have the friendly butyric acid, which is a friendly acid that feeds your colon cells. It helps lower your blood sugar. It helps insulin resistance and it helps you decrease inflammation. Okay, number four, it helps you make vitamins like biotin, like the other B vitamins, even B12 or vitamin K. So without these microbes, you can be deficient in certain B vitamins. Number five, they actually help you recycle bile. What is bile? Bile's the detergent that helps you break down the fats. It's stored in the gallbladder, but it's recycled through the intestines by the microbes. If there's not enough microbes, you will not reabsorb the bile, you will lose bile, and then you'll actually be bile deficient. And that can lead to a whole chain reaction of deficiencies of vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K2, and, and many, many other problems, even a deficiency of um, omega-3 fatty acids. Number six, detoxification. Microbes are involved in the detoxification of chemicals and poisons in the body. So if you don't have as many friendly microbes, you're not going to have the full capacity of keeping the toxins at a minimum level in your body. Number seven, probiotics can act as antioxidants in your body. So antioxidants basically help neutralize free radicals, which are atoms that are, have unpaired electrons that can create um, too much reactivity or oxidation in the body and create damage. Like, like just picture it like something rusting out. Well, antioxidants come in there and stabilize that free radical to add another electron to make it more stable. And lastly, probiotics can help make your bowel movements very regular, okay? So if you have constipation, you need probiotics. So a few years ago, I carried my own probiotic, which is a very unique blend of effective microbes, okay? But I had to discontinue it because I had a really difficult time getting it. So I recently found a way of getting it back because I had a lot of demand for this product and I put a link down below so you can check it out. But I wanted to quickly differentiate what this product is compared to other probiotics. Number one, it's a non-dairy probiotic. It does not come from milk. It was developed by a Japanese scientist, okay? And it has something called effective microbes. What does that mean? It's a blend of bacteria, friendly yeast, friendly fungi, and lactic acid bacteria. All of these microbes coexist in one solution as a very broad spectrum probiotic. So you start out taking a half a teaspoon and mix it with maybe one ounce of water, drink it right before you go to bed. So all night long, it's actually growing and fortifying uh, the digestive tract. 
And what's cool is the stomach acids do not kill off these microbes. They're able to survive the stomach acids. So if you're interested, go ahead and click the link below and check it out. Thanks for watching. So I want to talk about the benefits of probiotics that you may have never heard before. Most people do know that probiotics help with your digestion. They decrease inflammation, get rid of gas, bloating. It can fight against pathogens, unfriendly microbes. The friendly microbes help digest fiber. Uh, and also they make vitamins like biotin, which is really good for your hair, and also vitamin K. But friendly bacteria, probiotics, also can do these things as well. They can decrease stress. Why? because these microbes actually make amino acids. And amino acids are building blocks for neurotransmitters. L-tryptophan, for example, can really lower your stress. It also helps with your mood. So it actually elevates your mood. And L-tryptophan can turn into serotonin and then to melatonin, which is an, an hormone involved in your sleep cycles. So we have stress, mood, and sleep, just from having the right amount of gut bacteria. Now, probiotics can greatly help someone's acne and their skin, especially if they have cystic acne or dry skin or flaky skin. Probiotics will also help with your blood sugars. Now, why? Because microbes actually live off fiber. Fiber broken down by microbes turn into small chain fatty acids, one of them being something called butyrate, which will really help with your blood sugars and also lower insulin and help insulin resistance. Also, the probiotics will help decrease body odor and improve your sinuses. I would recommend getting a probiotic that is in a liquid form that survives the stomach. And I would always recommend taking a probiotic right before bed. Take a very small amount because it can create a detox reaction. And while you're sleeping, you won't really know it because you're sleeping. So you'll actually probably sleep a little bit better. So you want to start off a little bit small and gradually work up to maybe a tablespoon and then increase it. But if you find yourself detoxifying and feeling kind of run down or even kind of congested, then back off, take smaller amounts over a long period of time so your system can get used to it. Because what you're doing is you're adding friendly bacteria that's actually competing and killing off the unfriendly bacteria and you have a little bit of a immune reaction going on in your gut. And definitely check out this next video on probiotics. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.